Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Uh, we're doing season three, episode six of Marvel's uh, Runaways. Ooh, that was kind of funny. Uh, so season three, episode six, called Marry Me Again. So we see a Corvus ad, and basically it's a big spell on the phone. And the birds keep appearing. Then we cut to where Nico can't rest, and they decide to go, and go eat some brunch. And then Gert is kind of vibing with this guy named Max, and he's giving out free phones. Then Max actually broke um, a guy's phone, and the guy literally beats him up until Molly handles it. Then we cut to where Dale's going crazy, and he's just went off the deep end, and he's basically living in a commune type place, and just keeping to himself. <laughs> Then we cut to where Leslie is redoing the church, and uh, then we go back to uh, Gert having the vibes with the guy. Then Nico goes to talk to um, her mother, and she's going to work. And um, basically, Nico says she wants to go back to the Dark Dimension to go get out. She says no, and she says she finds to go to Morgan, so she warns her. Then we cut to where the dad texts to Nico. And then Molly and the church guy talk, and they're starting to, like, get along with each other and stuff like that. And um, then we cut to where Nico meets the dad slash Morgan as well. And basically Nico let her out, and so Mor Morgan is now the, um, healed Nico's dad. Then Nico goes with it for now. And Morgan is also working at Wizard Tech. And there's a party tonight and invites her to come. So Gert is on her phone too much, and Chase is worried, and then the phone cracked, and she got really, 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 really upset. Like, massively upset. And then we cut to where uh, Shelly and Chase's dad are at um, an alien adductor's anonymous. And so Victor shares, and they don't like his share. They think he is making fun of them. But now he's just telling them what actually happened, and they're like, no. Then we cut to Molly and um, the dude again are vibing and they're getting along. And then we cut to um, Molly found Dale and basically he's having a pity party. <laughs> then we cut to where Chase is um, disintegrated the phone to where Gert gets super out of control and all he did was pull a feather off the back and then the phone just went. <sighs> and then we cut to where Nico tells the group about Morgan. Then Nico does a spell on the feather, and it's like very powerful magic. Then sees Alex, and um, and hears him yell like "Help me!" Then Nico is about to go crazy, but then um, Carolina knocks the thing out of her hand and gets her to calm down. Then um, she that does make her calm down that much, but it gets her all of that um, the eye thing that was happening. So then Morgan visits um, Tamar and Mr. Wilder, and like I said, the Quiz Corps HQ is in their neighborhood. Then we have um, Gert is acting super crazy with a phone, and then they go to the launch party after, you know, she kind of snaps out of it. She got very scared about what she was doing as well, because she got a new phone. I don't know, she took Chase's phone, that's what that was. Then Chase questions Max, and he kind of gets to nowhere. Then, um, <sighs> Nico's dad does a speech for, um, Morgan, and she's the new CEO of WizTech. Then we cut to where Molly got to the phone, and then Nico's mom is super upset. I mean, tried to do a curse, but she has a backup of witches to, um, block that. And so she did what she, um, wanted, she did something different, she slapped her. And so she got escorted off. Then Gert and Chase argue, and basically she wants to date other people, and kind of like, it's like, we're done here, so, bye. Then Aniko runs into Tamar and Mr. Wilder, and, you know, got nowhere about Alex. Then Carolina ran into Morgan after she saw the witches doing, a. Uh, weird dance and how ugly they looked. Ooh, it's like their true selves. Like they have their exterior, like how they can make themselves look pretty, but when they're by themselves, it's like, oh my God. And then so Gert warns Max, but the witches made him forget. 
when Nico and Carolina talk slash argue. Then Nico goes with Morgan and has the book, which is like the one in Agents of Shield. I mean, it's like it's, I think it's exactly the book in Agents of Shield. It's like the really weird book, but um, apparently only like powerful people can deal with it. And so anyway, um, they do the ceremony, and Nico is in the coven, and Molly's in the trance when they get back. And that was in the episode. Um, I give it like an A plus episode. I really enjoyed it. It was a crazy episode. I was like, what is happening? So we get to see like the aftermath of what happened to them after they've been gone for like six months and how everything has changed and everything that's happening. Um, personally, I really enjoyed it. Um, the storyline I think is going pretty good. Not to where I expected, which is a good thing. And um, I really liked it. So anyway, that's one different this video. So like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell what you think of the episode. Do you agree, disagree? Tell me your thoughts down below. And if you even watch this, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody. Uh, subscribe if you want. Bye.